Welcome back everyone. I'm Jewel and we're doing a tutorial on the Giants Editor uh, Farming Simulator 19 map. Uh, this map is called Jewel's Peaceful Valley that I'm making and I'm going to go ahead and show you a little bit about how to do the replace. Um, it's basically this button here. Uh, you could pick L B M B, which is left mouse button right uh, I mean left click on this and click replace so that when you press the left mouse button you're gonna be able to use it as you can see here it says replace and it has this number well that's what number it's set at but we want to be able to change that and use a different level so when you want to replace it says re replace picking control R so you're gonna hold down control R. and then you're gonna if you have the sculpt mode on you're gonna scroll this down a little bit to about right there and then you're going to hold down control and hold down R and keep them down I'm still holding them then you're gonna click the left mouse button because that's where I say replace at and I want I want this level ground so I'm gonna click right there I clicked it once and I let go of control and as you can see it went from 40 something to 96 so it went from something down here level to this level and if I was to click uh, which I'm going to turn it off for a second turn that off I'm going to turn around I don't want it to uh, be on this I'm going to put it over here alright so if I'm to click click the sculpt mode again if I click left mouse button now it's going to replace this ground to that level I just clicked at over there so it's going to be the same level I clicked at over there and it's going to see so it replaced it actually took it out the map <laughs> so we don't want that so I'm going to undo it so hang on click edit and undo and that's gone so um, let me turn around and see what's up with that cuz let me try something let's do it right here alright click on this sculpt mode train sculpt mode I'm gonna click control R and the left mouse button right there okay so it changed it to 112 something so now I'm gonna press it right here and watch it come up to that level remember I clicked it here so watch it's gonna stop right there notice how it makes that go down and this go up it's cuz that sides higher and this sides lower so it needs to make it level it's making it exactly that number so if you want to keep going you can make a whole platform everything exactly the same level and that comes in handy when you're making it uh, flat for a building or a road or whatever so even if you're making a divot in the ground say I want a, a pond and I go just below the ground level I want it'll make it all that level just in that one spot and it'll be underground so when you put your water there it'll work so but I don't want that so I'm gonna undo it since I don't need it click edit and then undo and then you gotta do it a couple of times to get rid of it and one more and I'm done okay so we can turn it off to move but that's how you use replace uh, function make sure you click the terrain sculpt mode first turn it on it's gonna turn red like that you don't want it huge you want it just you know you don't want it too small either because it messes up when you go too small so you need to see that little that little pole looking thing red and white pole you need that to be able to see it and say you want this road level gonna hold down control and R at the same time keep it down the whole time then left click watch that number change at 73 now and so it so it did it without me even clicking let's move it over here up higher no oh, okay so must have bumped it hang on let me undo it uh, see let's move in a little closer 
All right. So press Control R. Oh wait, I gotta hit this. My bad. Control R and press that, and it went to 96. So you want to go lower? Control R, press it. For some reason it's doing something different. Must have held it down too long. Let's undo it. All right. Control R. And it did it without at that time. Let me try again. Yeah, you don't even have to press the left mouse button. Usually, I always used to press the left mouse button, but you don't have to. Uh, used to, that's what I do, and it worked that way. Maybe that was just for 17. But um, I just held it down and, it, and hovered it over where I wanted it, and it changed it. Yeah, it's changing it without pressing the left mouse button. Okay, so you just press Control R. Nothing else. You don't. Uh, you know, you have to wait a second till it pops up. You have to might have to hit it a couple of times so you see it pop up. But used to, I'd hit the left mouse button when you did it. So I don't know what that's all about. But hey, that's good. At least you know how to do it. So that's how you do the replace. And and uh. You can do it with the round brush or the square brush or however you want to do it. And uh, the same thing goes for the uh, the different modes, hardness and so on. It would change how fast the uh, opacity would change how fast it went up to the right level. If you had opacity all the way down, it would take forever to get to the replace limit where you had set it for. So you want to you might want it all the way up if you want it to replace it all the way exactly immediately so that's what you would change it way up and if you didn't want it to replace it fast you wanted to go slow with it you would put it lower so but basically that's it for the replacing um, function I will tell you what I use it for like when I'm in this water situation it's hard to see it um, let me see. You gotta make it a certain level. When it's too low like that, if you're not able to, if you're, if your particular water area isn't um, up higher where the man could walk through it and still have his head above water, you would walk like this in the game under it, and you would see that in the game, and you don't want to do that. So if you're not able to swim, like some of them work. For the swimming like in the main map you can swim in the water so and it makes the sound and everything but on some of this when you do it it won't and for some reason the other ones do and then this one doesn't unless it changes later on but um so i would have to take this and pick a higher level and click the replace thing so you're going to click sculpt mode scroll it down a little bit pick a higher spot right here say we want it to go up a little higher and you would hold down control R till it changed and it changed to 88 and then you would take this see and it's gonna put it at that level see and if you you just go all across this river area just up to that little part you don't want it to go down in the other spots you just want that part to go up now what you would do though see and hopefully his head would be above, but I don't think it would be. It would probably need to even go higher than that. But the goal is to get his head to be where it's just right there at the water to where he's, when he's going through it, he still can see above it like he's swimming for the areas that don't make the sound and whatever. So that's what your goal is to do with the replace. It helps you to do that more evenly because obviously it's hard to do perfectly for him to keep his head above the water uh, with just the sculpt mode and then making it all hilly or whatever it's best to make it smooth so when he's walking it's more smooth so that's a tip on that and pretty much that's going to be it uh, I just wanted to give you
basic stuff on each video not too long just enough to learn what you need to know and use it in your map making and then of course I'm going to do more map making tutorials of actually using some of these features more I just want to give you the basics of it so you don't got to go through a whole video trying to find what you need and then you've already found it in a few minute video or whatever and uh, so that's what I'm going to do is try to keep them relatively short unless it's something that's more extensive to talk about but uh, I do appreciate you watching I have some other videos out I have the one about terrain detail texture paint mode and then we have this one now of course then I talked about the roads and stuff and what we we're gonna do so check those out on my channel uh, appreciate you watching. Don't forget to hit the like button if you like the video. Subscribe and turn on your notification bell if you want to receive a notification every time I post a video. Catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Goodbye everybody.